Hello everyone. So, I am Gimmick Quattro, and we are back again here on Master Duel. It has been quite a long time since I've been on Master Duel, um, to be honest with you. I did start a series probably about a month ago on here, and never really followed through with it. I know, it's on me. I started to do it, and then I realized I did too much during the first part of it, and I didn't know how to recover. And I got started doing other things, my sealed only challenge, and that consumed a lot of my time trying to get that all done. So because of that, I ended up falling off of Master Duel. But I have decided that I want to use Master Duel a little bit more for A, a new series, and B, I want to use it for, for my sealed only challenge. Instead of using Duel Nexus to do my duels, I think doing master duel would be pretty cool it's a lot of fun it's one-on-one -on -one stuff that i do anyway so it kind of coincide and whatever else let's put that all the way this is the start of a new series here on master duel and this is hopefully one i will actually keep up on i haven't decided if i want to do recording every week or every two weeks that will still yet to be determined but the goal of this series is that every every episode i will open up one either one of the bundles because right now we have the three bundle special or one master duel pack and one secret pack like how farfa and dzif does it for their series but there is a catch with this one i may not use that secret pack ever again so that's my little stipulation that if i want to yeah, so that's like my one like huge restriction. I may only use a secret pack one time. And once I've used one of every single secret pack, the only goal after that. So the ending series is one of two things. Either I hit platinum one with this deck doing, I haven't determined if I want to do three or five duels an episode. And and or if I run out of secret packs, which there's a hundred secret packs. That means if I do this once a week, either it's going to take me a hundred weeks to do it, or I hit plat one. That's it. That's just the main goal of the deck. I'm going to try to build a deck that's a bit more fun uh, than anything else. So hopefully, you know, I can use any cards that I want as long as I've pulled them only. So for the start here, we want to do the bundle deal. So we will do one bundle deal for the first three videos, plus whatever one secret pack that I pull and try to build a deck out of it and uh, hit the ladder. See the, do, do the best that I can. Oh wait, is that gonna be problematic? I just had a small realization, but it's okay. I will figure that, that out in time. So let's uh, get into the first pack opening that we're four minutes into this video. Hopefully the video itself and the concept should be fairly straightforward for you guys to understand. Um, there, should, there will be some type of restrictions like between crafting and stuff like that. You know, that's always a big part of master duel as well the ability to craft cards and stuff like that and i will have certain rules on that based off of win loss i haven't fully determined what that is yet what will most likely end up happening is that this is not a bad pack so far i like vampire grace i actually really do like vampire so if i could pull more of a vampire strategy i will go with that um, we have a crawler. If I get more crawlers, I mean, I guess that's something. So crafting will probably end up being that if I, based off of a record, which I still haven't determined what the record stuff is going to be yet, so I'm not going to sure where I want to go with that. But crafting will be a part of my win-loss record in that way. And same as maybe getting extra packs or whatever. So, Anyways... So far, the opening has been pretty lackluster. Not too much to talk about. Some Salman great stuff, realistically. Um, whatever. So we first ultra rare is Matronus. 
Dytron. That's really upset. <laughs> I pulled the Dytron card. Yay. Goodness gracious. I don't know if I'm actually going to play Dytron at all. Like, I, it's, it's like, it's a good deck. I understand, technically speaking, it's a good deck. But I don't know if I want to play metal like that. I did pull some, I, I like Ice Barriers. I would pull it, play the Ice Barriers if I could. Um, another Salaman great card. And Torbus from the Underworld is not horrible either. I mean, it's not bad. It's a card. Sorry to read it there. I don't think I've ever read it. It seems like the recording is going really slow in comparison, but maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Uh, Rebuild Deer. What are you? The Poisonous Makashi. I mean, Makashis are all right. So far, not a lot of note, which is pretty upsetting, honestly. I thought I might have a little bit more going on here. Oh, we got some supers. All right, so we have uh, Mr. Skarn of the Burning Abyss, and we have Cyber's Clock Dragon. Maybe I'll go with that. Who knows? I'll have to see what the secret packs are. So far, it does not seem like I've received four different secret packs. That's it. It's not a lot. But not being a lot means that I don't have a lot of options, so I have to kind of be smart about what I what I pick. Not much of note there. On to the Dark World stuff. I do like Dark Worlds. I would probably play Dark Worlds if I could. Ooh! Yes! Number C101 Silent Honor Dark. I love number cards. For, you guys had, for those of you guys who do not know, huge fan of numbers. Huge fan of all the rank up stuff and the coolest things you can do with that. My favorite deck of all time is the gimmick puppets. Partially for that reason, partially because I think they're really cool. And again, not too much to note in this pack. So, let's take a look at all the secret packs that we do have available to us. And hope for something... Uh... Alright, so... What, we have five secret packs? Um, seven secret packs? I apologize. Let's, uh, sort of the seventh one. This might end up being it. I mean, Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Featured cards, that's what I want. So we have Silent Arc. We have a couple of number cards, which are not too bad. It looks like we have uh, something we can make a Rank 4 engine out of. Fire Hand, Ice Hand, the Star card tier, the Umbral Horror stuff. That's really it. Not too much in this one. All right. That's definitely on the table just because I like it a lot. Now, like I said, once I've opened up a pack, I mean, that's it. So I have to kind of pick wisely here to start. Here we have Access Code Talker is a really nice one to pull. Sign up mining is a good card. I mean, this is just a really good pack worth of stuff. And with the starting of an episode, you know, it's also important to know the direction of where I want the deck to go. So Mecha Phantom Beast and Machinas. No, with the start of the first start of the episode, you want to get a strong shell of a deck. You know, what pack can you open up that actually gives you a lot of potential start? And that's what I'm really trying to look for here. What's going to be the thing that just puts a proper icing on the uh, on the cake for a good build? And it's something to easily work with. Not super easily, but easily enough to work with to, uh, to push the deck in, in either direction. So as much as I really like the number stuff, and I think the number stuff would be cool, it seems like maybe more extra deck stuff than anything. Yeah, I can create a rank 4 engine. Rank 4 engines are pretty good. But is it going to be enough? I mean, Necros might be something. I don't think the Necros would be horrible, but they seem kind of high level. And... Oh, this might not be bad either. This is like another kind of rank four engine. I like the the Castellers are pretty good with a relatively simple gameplay plan to them. And they got some good cards. So, what do I go with? 
really I'm between Fiendish Encounters, Rites of the Mirror World, and Champions of Salvation would have to be my main push and pull. But, I mean, if I wanted to go with a more real competitive deck, it would be Fiendish Encounter. If I wanted to go with a deck that I've never really played before, but might be cool to play with, be Rites of the Mirror World. And if I want to go with a deck that kind of gives me a semi-decent like, I played the deck, it's got an okay in, like, uh, certain things. <sighs> let's go with Phoenix Encounter. You know what? Let's go with the Burning Abyss. I've never played this tar deck before. It's Burning Abyss and Magical Musketeers. Let's go with this. Ten packs of Phoenix Encounter. That means I can never pull this again. Wow, and that's really underwhelming, being one super, one ultra. Oh, let's hope I get more. All right, so this is the first part. Nothing really there. So two Burning Abyss cards and two Magical cards, Magical Musketeer stuff. So I really don't know a lot about this deck. And because I don't know a lot, I don't know what's good to pull and what's not good to pull. I know, I know Farfa is pretty big into playing the deck. So maybe I can look to see what he tends to build for his Burning Abyss stuff and see. It seems to be, though, as of right now, I'm getting a pretty even spread of like two and two for each archetype. And here I actually got three, which is not bad. I want to see as much of the Burning Abyss stuff as possible. Uh, that's more magical, magic, magical musketeer stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. This is not looking too terribly pretty here, but what are you going to do? Uh, okay. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is looking really bad. It really sucks. There's just no, there's no supers. There's no alters. Like there's nothing. There's two. I got, I got a whopping total of two, which is brutal. Lone Fire Blossom seems like a good card to have. I don't know if it's limited or not though if it would show me if it was limited or not now or whatever else or if it's completely free to play but if i could pull more than that so i got one in the pack and one outside of the pack so let's see what outside of the pack is trap trick for a mellow not actually not a bad card and here we do have cherubini which if i was to pull anything i feel like that's gotta be pretty good either that or dante and I got a super in the pack. And that's, of course, it's a Magical Musketeer card. Um, All in all, really underwhelming. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. Anyways, let's get to deck building and see if I can uh, make something happening. Well, guys... This is the very, very bad deck that I've come up with. Mainly, this is just a cluster of every single Burning Abyss and Magical Musketeer card I had shoved together. And then just found a bunch of generic good stuff and other things to put in. Um... I don't know, let's just go through the cards. So we have one Tour Bus of the Underworld. We have one Skarm. We have three Seer. We have Run Rubik. We have two Cal Cab. We have two Cogna. We have two Draghig. I butcher their names. We have one Barbar. We have one Magical Musketeer Casper. We have one Magical Musketeer Kid Brave. Or uh, two, sorry, two Magical Musketeer Kid Brave. We have two Magical Musketeer Calamity. We have one Shit All Beast. We have one Mikado Netherlord of the Burning Abyss. We have one Moon Mirror Shield. We have one Good and Evil 
good and evil in the burning abyss. We have one silent graveyard. We have uh, two, three magical musketeer steady hands. We have one inverse universe, one fire lake of the burning abyss, two magical musketeer desperado, or three of them. Uh, one solid judgment, three magical musketeer last stand. We have one abyss stungray, one magical musketeer fiendish, and three magical musketeer crooked. Crown, crooked crown. For the extra deck, a lot of this does not matter, but we have El Shadow, Wendigo, Cyber, Cyber's Clock Dragon, and Mysterion and the Dragon. These literally don't matter. They're just in here to be in here. We have three Virgil. We have one the Teller Knight Delthros. This I don't even think I can make at all. No, most of them are threes. I didn't have a lot of outs. We got this guy. He's just in here. We have a Proxy Dragon, Cherubini, and... Baba Barbarar. Baba Barber. Yeah, this is going to go horribly. Let's get into the matches. So, I literally went from the pack opening, built this monstrosity, and have jumped in. I'm not expecting anything to go well. I hardly read any cards. I don't know nothing. Um, We're going to learn as we go along. I'm basically just really wanting to record right now. And I'm just kind of going for it. I'm probably going to record this, maybe try to edit this as much as I can tonight. And get it up maybe at some point in time this week and kind of keep going. So let's see what this does. If you control a Burning Abyss monster that is... N if you control a monster that is not a Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. Love it. You can only use one of these effects once per turn. If you control no spell slash trap cards, you can fetch some of this card from your hand. Okay. If, you can, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Burning Abyss monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Interesting. So I can play this, but I can't have anything else with it. Send two to the graveyard, destroy three, if you control a Magical Musketeer. Um, I'm just going to special summon this. And... Set two and oh no, I screwed up. I really did not. Okay, I thought it just had to be faith up. If it if you control a monster that is not a burning abyss monster, I uh, yeah, that is my fault. I thought it had to be faith up for it to recognize that it was not a burning abyss. That's on me. Uh, the more you know about the game, I guess. So we're just looking for some. Oh no. What am I going up against? Special summon effect. That's not bad, actually. I can just special summon one. If I had more, it'd be great. How screwed am I here? It looks like I'm going to be very screwed. I mean, he's going to get in for 22 points of damage. 2200 points of damage. So, that's kind of scary. Thunder Dragon. What is he playing? Raw Disciple, Thunder Dragon, something or other. I mean, I would assume he's playing the God cards. And maybe Thunder Dragon is just, uh, I have no idea. I cannot tell you. I'm trying to make things up as I go along. I just, I really wish I just had a little bit higher defense. But what are you going to do? I will put this back into the deck. And, I mean, I might be losing here. Who knows? Who knows? And draw. Hey, I pulled the boy back. That is so... Actually, I don't know how many copies I have of him. He's back. We might have two. Actually, this might be the one that I've got three of. I, I might have pulled four of him, but was able to obviously can only put three in the deck. So that might actually end up being the case with him, which is not bad. I, I think he's a pretty good card to see. He's got pretty beefy stats. Beefy enough, definitely on this board. 
I feel like for the start of such a series, it's a very good concept, but it's definitely a very slow start. I did not get a strong opening, though. I think what really, really failed me there was not having a super strong opening to go, to go with. So it's just like I fell off a lot from just not having something better. And I don't have access to all the cards that I would have got from like the free decks or from winning the game, uh, winning story stuff. So that's all to kind of put the damp on things. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm about to get in for it. He got, he got like 4,000 damage on board. So I'm dead next turn. Unless I can come up with something. I will say, I tend to feel like Master Duel the Duels might go a little bit faster. I have no idea if there's even anything I can pull here that saves me, like, in the slightest. I probably should have picked the bundle a little bit better, I'm not going to lie to you. They're very interesting cards, the Burning Abyss. Very interesting indeed. So it seems like they all have the same clause that if as long as you can if you control a monster that isn't a burning abyss, destroy this card. And it seems like they have the same clause of if you uh, control no spell traps, you can special summon them from hand. That might not be all of them, but maybe a good handful of them might have that, which is very interesting. I quite like that. It's Thunder Dragon. He really does have Thunder Dragon stuff. Wow. This duel is taking a little bit longer than I want it to. Obviously, there's definitely some stuff I can edit out because I've had to wait quite a long time for the opponent here. We are still only on duel one, which isn't great. But what are you going to do? Ooh, fairy. I do feel pretty good because I have pretty high defenses here. So unless he's got something... I don't know what his plan is here. What does this do? I mean, I have a thick booty, though. Oh, he's a six-star. Okay, I was about to say, if he wasn't a six-star, that'd be so stupid. I don't know. Let's just throw some stuff down. I'm just go, 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 go. This guy's not having great connection, though. I was kind of hoping he was going to, like, time out and just his connection was going to fall, and I would just win that way. I'm not going to lie. Any win counts as of right now. Actual win counts. Or not any form of a win. Whether it's a timeout, opponent gives up, surrender, that would be giving up. Anything like that, it does count or me actually winning. It's all fair in love and war. I'll give some time between the recording of this episode and the beginning of the next episode to figure out what I want to do with, uh, with my win-loss. And how I think I'm going to do three matches. As of right now, because I've got such a bad deck and matches are going to go long, might go fairly long. Because I'm also in a really bad stage with like really bad players. I will do three matches. And then maybe once I get up a lot higher, I'll do five. And I've got a much, bit more competent deck and we're going against more competent opponents. I'll do five matches. As of right now, I'm going to do three and I'll probably do something along the lines of if I win three matches, I'll have to come up with something. Because I might want to do something like I could take certain secret packs off the list, be able to reuse them um, as like a reward at some point in time and things like that. So I will come up with a nice little, uh, nice little list of stuff by the beginning of next episode or at the end of this episode, maybe at the end of this episode. I, when I give a lot of thought to it, I will have a nice little thing at the end or at the beginning that says, you know, stipulations and stuff like that. I did kind of rush into this. I know technically as a YouTuber with a new series, you should think out most details of it ahead of time before jumping in. So there's a lot of coherency and stuff like that and there's no confusion. And this, that, the other thing and whatever else. Oh, that's a beefy boy. Like technically you should do all that. But whatever. I'm not a good Yugi tuber, so, you know. No, it was just more or less my excitement kicking in too much. And it really was. I was just super excited. And this is what happens. I just I didn't put a lot of thought into it. And I just kind of rushed into things and kind of just went along with it. But trust me, guys, it will work out great. 
episode two is going to be way more coherent. At the beginning, no, I will say this. At the beginning of the next episode, I will surrender here. So this is our first loss. At the beginning of this episode, I will have a proper list of, you know, things for me to get through, challenges, whatever else. Like, have, like, a proper... And then later on in the video, when people watch this part, and they're going to be, like, scratching their heads, like... But at the beginning of the episode, he made it sound like he knew everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that to people. I'm really going to screw with their heads. Uh, Going first went so well last time. I'm going to do it again. I have no idea if I'm supposed to go first or second with this deck. I really don't. Um, I, I don't know. This seems like a much more competent hand. Oh, let's go with this. So if you control... Oh, this, guy, this is the same guy. So we're going to activate and we're going to special summon him from hand. And, and special summon him from hand. Okay. And then we can go, I think I'm just going to stick with that for right now. They're two pretty strong, you know, a, a good, good attack point. You know, maybe I can, I don't know. I think I wish I had realized a little bit more about the gimmick of Burning Abyss before I made the deck. Am I really going against Dytrons? I really am. I, I really am. I'm going to lose this crap. Wow. That's crazy. I feel like he doesn't know actually know how to play the deck. Like, it feels choppy. I don't know. Like, I feel like when I watch high-level Dytarn players play, they're actually you're, they're a bit more confident. They make better, stronger moves and stuff like that. This just feels like he's got to think about it a whole lot. He's not sure of his decisions, but I could be wrong. I haven't even played Master Duel a whole lot on my main account. I just, I don't know. It, this new season section that started up, I've just fallen away from it. Not that I don't think the game is good and all, and that I don't want to play it. I just fallen off from uh, from playing a little bit. Just got too much going on. But it happens. It happens to the best of us. So, you know, you do what you can. And yada yada yada. I feel like my cards are a little bit cut off on my recording. Mid recording changes sounds good to me. I can't actually make this screen smaller. It seems like ah, you know what? I'm sticking with it. I know I shouldn't mess around with anything during the middle of recording, but this is where my head goes. Wow, he did all that, and it feels like he did nothing. I feel like this would be a pretty decent deck to run if they had a good, like, I feel like I would be okay with even running some of the Burning Abyss stuff just like this if they just had a really good, if I had, like, a really good synchro, um, link payoff. I feel like they link up really well. I don't know. Let's start smacking into things. I don't know what the proper thing to hit is here. We're just going to hit, do some damage. Hopefully. <laughs> it's been a quite a long recording section. I want these videos to be... I'm going to try my best to make them around 30 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes and somewhere in that range. Obviously, there's only so much I can do. The pack opening should never really take that long. There's not a lot going on. So with the pack openings, at least I'm going to try and cut out some of like the way less entertaining packs and just kind of go with more hit based packs. But, and I might even just, I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I want to do. I have not decided yet what I want to do. Like I said, I'm going to try to make these recordings relatively short. I don't want them to be too long anyways. It's easier. It's going to be harder for me to record that way, like to edit down that way to make them like 30, 40 minutes. But it'll be good for me as somebody who's learning how to edit more and more to be able to kind of weed out the crap and try to make things a little bit more entertaining and only pull out the good stuff. So 
These duels do not help, though, the length of some of them. I don't mind taking a long time to do a duel if I, like, win or if it's entertaining. But if it's, like, watching somebody do the exact same thing over and over again and with no good ending, it sucks. Like, I feel like Dytron should have been able to eat through, like, any good Dytron player would be able to eat through the board immediately and would have ended me or got really close last turn and really had to make me in... Like, I could, I should be gone by now. I should be over for me by now. That's all I'm saying. I'm stumbling to say it, but that's all I'm truly saying. Like, I, it should have been over for me by now. I'm getting messages from my wife. I don't know what that's about. I have to look at it later. I'm already at 22 minutes for this recording. I think the first part was like 13 or 15 minutes long. So, Beatrice. Oh, uh, she's a Burning Abyss card. Need her. That'd be nice. So, I don't know. Let's uh, let's not focus on the game. And let's ramble about my ideas of where I want to do for this. So, three wins. What do I get if I have three wins? Three wins, I can do an extra extra secret packs mm. no what do I do I gotta do something that's generic but still good and then have like challenges in which it would be much better so three wins I can open up an extra like 10 master duel packs no it seems really high why did you you i'm so confused it's all right though was this forbidden something or other but it's like for negated interesting let me think about it guys I, i'll have something juicy i think for like a zero three loss, I get to craft. I should be able to craft like, uh, like two cards. I think a zero three loss, I get to craft any two cards that I want. For a for a one two loss, I get one craft, and maybe like. Five extra packs, like five extra master duel packs. And then I think uh two one I got an extra ten master duel packs. No, for a two one I'll get five extra secret packs of whatever secret pack I opened up that episode. And for a three zero I get 10 master i get five and five five extra master duel packs and five extra secret packs i think that'd be cool something like that because realistically when you do something like this you you're when you have a loss you want to have a loss but still give you something to help you move along so you don't lose too much but you don't want the but when you win you want the wins to kind of help bring you along as well but not so much that it's like hurting too much if you know what i mean i don't think i there's not much i can do here no some of them when they're in the graveyard they have effects interesting i'll figure something out i'll learn the deck eventually i think we are at almost 30 minute re long recording though from just these two duels alone that'll be fun I would like to have a reward system, not like like a challenge system though, likes and subs and stuff like that based off of these videos, and being able to get things like that. Um, I always like the concept of that. I think that because it makes it interactive, it makes it fun for the viewers that they want to help me out. So by helping me out, this is what they do. Why are you going into defense? Oh my goodness, I hate grind games. This logically makes zero sense to me. All right. 
Watch. Watch Cherubi. Let's just make some plays and learn the deck. If I lose, then I lose. But we have to start making some form of plays here. Activate. Orange light. I think that feels like a debate. I feel like I just baited that out. Like it doesn't feel like I it like there's much I can actually get value wise. So let's do this. Send to the graveyard. What let's do Skarm. I can add something to my hand at the end of the turn. I don't know what that did. Ah, more attack. And destroy that. And let's see what this does. Let's get something into my hand. Or do you have another orange light for that? Oh, these matches are going way too long. I don't know. Let's get the synchro guy. He's got a thick booty. And there we are. That was the super eventful turn. I know. No. Goodness gracious. So I wanted to use this account as well to help out with my other series that I'm doing. By the way, if you've not checked it out, please do. Um, but I realized if I'm trying to do ladder stuff on this account, then I can't do ladder stuff on two accounts because it's going to screw up the laddering on one of the on on this one. That one is just all about duels. This one's actually about making it to plat one. So I, I, I just. Yeah, I don't know. That feels hard. Feels like I can't do it. Yeah, I don't know. All right, got distracted. Here we go. Cherubini. Oh, I can just, what, send to the graveyard? Let's send this to the graveyard. We don't need you anymore. Because this got sent to the graveyard. I can shuffle something back into the deck. Let's put you back into the deck. Oh, you do something. What do you do? I don't know. You negate things, I guess. And, yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's keep him alive for as long as we can. Finally, some action has happened, which is lovely. But what are you going to do? I will really be testing my editing skills with this series, I think. I basically have a turn left. Song Judgment's not bad. Activate. Send. Oh, let's put that there. And you're going to get some type of boost. Oh, lordy, lordy. this will let me let's put this one into the deck it's interesting and end turn very eventful i know i know i'm extremely good at what i do dark ruler no more what does this do interesting We got rid of the Cherubini, but I'm still alive. Can't believe this is the only duel two. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put that on top of the deck. I'm not going to lie to you. That was not a smart move. I know, I know. It was dumb. I thought I was going to lose last turn. I don't know why he did the things that he did. It feels weird. It feels real weird. Oh, well, he's got big booty. 
Come on, yes. Eh, it's not bad. He's kind of thick. He's kind of thick, bro. He's icky ticky. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Somebody just end this. I could have just canceled the game at any point in time, but why would I do that? Why don't we have a chunky boy? He's so chunky. Now, can you please be real stupid and attack with this first? Oh, that'd be so funny. Don't get greedy here. Ah, oh, he didn't do the funny. Yay, we are at almost a 40 minutes for this part of the recording. Gross. Gross. It's going to be almost 50 minutes long right now. Hey, we did rank up. I don't know why. I'm going first. See, I've gone first every single time. Every single time I've lost. So we are currently at a 0-2 record. I don't know. I probably just really screwed up audio doing something like that because I'm stupid. Stupid. Yay. Same place. Bash summon. In attack mode. Activate. Special summon. In attack mode. And then we're going to Cherubini this. And. Um, activate this, sending who to the graveyard? Yeah. And this guy, and then we're going to activate his effect. And we get to special summon this from the hand and defense. And then we get to summon you. Set this face down and then go to the end phase. See, there we go. That's not bad. We put four bodies on the board. See, I don't think Burning Biss is horrible at actually trying to get things on the board. It's, I don't have a lot of payoff to do it and I don't have a super large core to do it. I don't know what really the main Burning Abyss core is. Like if there's like a certain like, if you have like these four or five cards, that's like the best thing really to kind of get started and whatever else. Like I just, I don't know. Ooh, this is an interesting deck. You know what? Yeah, you can't, I don't know whatever this is, but no. Let's get something out of the deck. You can special summon. Special summon from the deck. Yeah, you can't do that. That's rude. I don't want you to. Adam Emancipator. You're doing Adam Emancipator Magnetrons? Interesting. Or Magna Warriors? That's cool. I like that. Conceptually, I think that's really cool. Oh, that's a huge. He's got a 60 card deck doing that. Wow. Or almost 60 card deck? Something like that. I feel like I'm going to lose to this one relatively quickly, which I would be okay with. Not that I want to lose, but like at the same time, I don't want to drag on forever. We're already at 41 minutes for this part of the recording, and I still have the like 15 minute other section. Like we're looking at pretty close to an hour that I've got to cut down by like at least 20 minutes or try to. She's gone. I don't know. I'll put you back in. I think it really matters here. And that guy's gone. Relatively smart, though, not trying to actually going after this. Uh, it would have done more damage, and I probably would have protected him to keep him alive. But I don't know. Oh, we have a big boy. You're huge. Okay, so.
Oh, not much really going on here. I'm probably lost this turn anyway, so I'm not too concerned. It's probably not going to get hard for them to get that much damage on board. He's already got 2,500. So he does need another 54 to end this. So within this turn or the next turn, it's going to be over. I could theoretically surrender, saving me a lot of time. But I feel like this guy deserves to play it out at least a little bit. I do have this guy. It's not going to do much for me. Oh, Block Dragon. I'm not going to do anything right now. Block Dragon's pretty good. And... I like the concept of the deck, actually. Magna Warrior, Adamantipator, Generic Rock. It's pretty cool. I give him a lot of credit for something cool. I probably wouldn't have been able to come up with this, so... But I can't come up with much, so. He's got a lot of damage on board here. He's got 55, 61, 71. He's almost there. He's He needs about 1,000-ish, 1,300 more damage on board, something or other. You can't be destroyed by battle, so I want to know what's going to happen here. Sorry, bub. Can't be destroyed by battle. At this rate, you would have been better off just attacking the Cherubini. Uh, no, he wanted to hit the biggest guy into Cherubini. Uh, no, there's really no point trying to protect him right now. Again, should have hit your biggest guy into him. This is a small stall for time. I don't know if it's going to do much for me. And we're going to put that face down. And end the turn. You know what? If we're going to be in this for the long haul, I might as well play it that way. I have no board wipe. So I really have no hope to getting out of this. If I had like a Geki or something other, that might be a different story, but I don't. So we're just going to play this out the best that we can. I don't even think I have a card big enough to out muscle. That's the other thing. Like if I had a, like a relatively high leveled card, like a high strength card, I could maybe out muscle. I don't know if I have anything else otherwise though to, des to destroy my, so I guess that's first and foremost. The biggest thing I try and get is board wipe, which I will get. I'll probably open up lightning storm next next time. Next episode, I'll open up lightning storm. So board wipes are pretty big though, and other than board wipes, just other like relatively good monster destruction. We are going into a link here, nightmare unicorn, to bounce this back. I'll get rid of the trap. Oh, can I activate this? Ha, yeah, I bet you wanted to block dragon, but now you can't. And it all just fizzles. And I will summon, let's bring up this guy. Oh, it includes my graveyard as well. Well, that was dumb. Wow, did not see that one coming. Alrighty then. Don't I look stupid? And that, well, let's see what my draw is. It's funnier to see what it is here. Calamity. What does this do? You know what? I'm going out my way.
Boom. Alrighty then, guys. So, this has been the end of the first episode with my really bad 0-3 record, but what are you going to do? I mean, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple gameplay, pretty simple concept of the video. So, if you guys have liked this or liked the thought of it and would like to subscribe, then I would really appreciate it. Also... Um, you know, if you want to like, comment down below, anything like that, anything to help out the channel, I would really appreciate that as well. If you guys have not already checked out my other series, I am doing a sealed only or from scratch, whatever type of concept you want to call it, um, series as well. That's been going pretty well so far. I'm four episodes deep at the time of this recording. So if that's something you guys would also be interested in watching, please I will have a link to that series down below. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you guys here for another video again soon. Uh, peace.